Welcome back to how to solve your Rubik's Cube in five steps. This is lesson number four, which is getting a completely yellow face or orienting the last layer. If you want to see the previous videos in this tutorial series, I will have the link for those down in the description. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in the past lessons, we've gotten the white cross, we've put in the white corners where they need to be, and we've put in the non-yellow edges where they need to be. So now we're going to orient the last layer. Now, that's Rubik's Cube ease for getting a completely yellow top. But the reason that I say orient the last layer is because it makes it a bit easier to understand what exactly the last step means, which is permuting the last layer. And I'll come to that in its own time, but I do have to explain what orienting the last layer means. Orienting the last layer is when you get a completely yellow face like this. And I'm going to show you why it's called orienting the last layer. You see how all the yellow is right? You'd think that since now you've gotten, you know, the first two layers done and you've gotten yellow up on top, the Rubik's Cube is done, right? Not quite. The thing is, you have to move around some of the pieces still on this layer. You've pointed all the yellow in the right direction. You've oriented the yellow pieces correctly, but you still have to move them around a bit. You have to permute the last layer, okay? So that's the only reason that I call it orient the last layer and not a simpler name, okay? So, now, uh, that being said, let's just hop right into the tutorial. Now, there's another thing that I have to say to you, sorry, before I continue. Uh, remember how I talked to you about Rubik's Cube terminology? How different letters mean different faces, and prime means turn it counterclockwise, and uh, just normally t means turn it clockwise, and U2 means turn U twice? What? You, you don't remember that? Well, I would suggest going back and learning that before you learn this step, because this is about to get a bit tricky. So, another thing about Rubik's Cube notation that you need to know before we can proceed is lowercase letters. What do lowercase letters mean? I mean, you've never seen lowercase letters in my algorithms that I put up there before. They've always been uppercase. Well, lowercase letters mean that, yes, you do turn the layer clockwise, or counterclockwise, depending on whether or not it's a prime, but you turn two of the layers at once. So if it were lowercase r, what w the move would be would be this, like that. If it were lowercase r prime, it would be like this. If it were lowercase u, it would be this. If it were lowercase u prime, it would be this. If it were lowercase l2, it would be this. If it were lowercase l2, it would just be this again. But you see the point. You turn two of the layers at once. So that being said, let's proceed into telling you how exactly you are supposed to get a completely white face. Uh, no, sorry, completely yellow face. We already got a white face. So the first thing that you want to look for is what position of the yellow edges you have here. Huh, you might say, remember, the yellow edges, the edges that have yellow. Which yellow edge pieces are actually pointed in the right direction? Which yellow things here on the edges are actually yellow? Okay, so um, the first kind of scenario that you can get is a dot, just here in the middle. You don't have any other yellow edges oriented, it's just this, okay? So what you need to do for that is hold the cube like this, and then perform this algorithm. Lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime. So like this. Then, after you have that, um, you will get a line like this. Okay? Then, what you want to do with that line is turn it so that it's horizontal, not vertical. Not so that the line is pointing at you, but that the line is going across like this then you want to perform that same algorithm that you just did. Lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime. Okay? And then once you've done that, you're going to have the last thing that you're going to have to do that algorithm for, which is a little yellow r, like this. See? It's a little r. And holding that r like that, you're going to want to perform that same algorithm just once more. Lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime, like that. And that's how you do it. If you get the dot, you just perform it from anywhere. You do lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime, 
if you get and then you'll get a line and then you want to make that line horizontal perform the same algorithm then you'll get a little yellow r and from that same position you want to perform the same algorithm again okay so then what you'll have is you will have all these yellow edges oriented now the only question is how many corners are you going to have oriented as well you can have one of several choices is the first choice of which is going to be all of the yellow corners oriented and you don't have to do anything you've already gotten a completely yellow face um but it is probably going to be a little more complicated than that there can only be three types of non-solved yellow corners oriented okay so there can either be no yellow corners oriented so you just have a yellow cross like this or there can be one yellow corner oriented like this which is what you want actually or there can be two yellow corners oriented if you have zero yellow corners oriented or two yellow corners oriented then you have to do a little bit more work however if you have only one yellow corner oriented then you have an easier job of it see this is what we ultimately want but let's assume that you get the worst possible scenario which would be this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and completely ignore it for now we're going to just look at around here on the sides okay so what we're going to do is we're going to look for yellow in the lower left corner in the upper left corner sorry uh no wait no yes okay look for yellow in the upper left corner here okay so ignoring the top look for yellow in the upper left corner uh this doesn't have yellow in the upper left corner this doesn't have yellow in the upper left corner oh here's yellow in the upper left corner so now that you've found that perform this algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime now that you have that you have again two yellow corners oriented and since you have two yellow corners oriented you're going to do the same thing again look for yellow in the upper left corner up oh, here it is so now you perform that algorithm again r u r prime u r u2 r prime okay and now what you have is you have one yellow corner oriented and that's what we want to move on to this next step in getting the yellow face so now we're going to ignore this little band around here remember how i told you to ignore the top well now we're ignoring this part around here and paying attention to the top so now that we're paying attention to the top i want you to put the yellow here in the lower left corner before it was the upper left corner here now it's the lower left corner here and then i want you to do that exact same algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and then we have one yellow corner oriented so we do the same thing again put it in the lower left corner and perform r u r prime u r u2 r prime and there you have it you have just completed the yellow face now um if this uh video tutorial was confusing to you in any way um just keep going back and re-watching the tutorial because if you keep watching it i guarantee that you will get it eventually just keep following my instructions and i guarantee that you will get it in the beginning when you're first solving a rubik's cube when you're first starting out it seems like no matter what you do you're always messing something up or the person's wrong because you're actually messing something up i've learned how to solve a different a uh, few different kinds of rubik's cubes and every single one i've learned i have tried and tried it and tried it until i was finally convinced that the person didn't know what they were talking about because it didn't work then i stopped messing up the algorithms and suddenly it worked so if you just keep going back in the video and just keep practicing it then you will get it eventually so this has been step four in how to solve your Rubik's Cube. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see the next tutorial for how to solve your Rubik's Cube, I will put the link for that down in the description. So uh, that being said, hope you found this video tutorial helpful and happy cubing.